Hi everybody, in this video I'll show you how you can play games uh, with your console in HDR on a compatible uh, HDR display while recording gameplay in SDR. I'm going to demonstrate this on the Elgato 4K X video capture card, but just know that it might be similar to other capture cards and other setups. In my case, I'm using the PlayStation 5 and an HDR uh, compatible display. So first of all, there are a few prerequisites that you should know of. All right, so first of all, you need to have a console, of course, that supports HDR output, like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. HDMI uh, 2.0 higher, again, this depends on the resolution and the refresh rate you are actually played on playing. A capture card that does support HDR pass-through, because otherwise the signal won't actually reach your display, and therefore you won't be able to see the HDR content. And of course, a display monitor or TV that support HDR. Usually what happens is that the, the capture card communicates with the display uh, via EDID, and the capture card can read this data and uh, create a handshake with the console so the console knows what type of signal to send back to the display, or in this case, the capture card. Now, these things are like supported resolutions, refresh rate, color formats, HDR support if it exists, audio capabilities, and so on. And of course, you need to make sure the HDR is enabled on the console as well. Demonstrate this on the PlayStation 5, uh, but it's going to be different, of course, for you if you're using another console. So in the PlayStation 5, you're going to go down until we see screen and video. And here, we're going to scroll down until we get to HDR. Now, uh, you can see the two options are uh, that you want to have is either on when supported or always on. But depends, again, if you're just in the menu, you should send a HDR uh, if you are on when supported. However, if you want to make sure that it is sending an HDR signal, just put it on, always on, uh, you know, just test it out. And after that, you just can change it to on when supported. So it will use HDR uh, just with supported uh, games, supported content. Now, the best way to do is use the on-screen display, always the uh, on your display and check whether it shows HDR on. Then you know that the HDR signal is transferred to your display. In this case, again, it should be through the capture card to your display and it's actually on HDR mode. Otherwise, you're gonna see that HDR is off. If so, you need to check different settings to see why it happens. There are various options that can lead to it. So I'm just gonna put a few reasons that you might wanna check and make sure that none of them actually apply to you. So hopefully everything is fine and HDR is displayed on your monitor. Just note again, this guide is for OBS Studio and the Elgato 4K X capture card uh, and of course the PlayStation 5 and a compatible HDR display. It might be different, of course, if you have a different setup. Now, OBS by default will support uh, SDR mode, unless again, you play with it and set something different. So first of all, you're just gonna take into account that you know you didn't use anything regarding changing the settings to support HDR. So you're kind of using the default ones. After that, I explained some settings that you need to do in order to force it to use SDR if you change anything, or just set it back to a default volume, default values. Now, if you want to control the settings of your Elgato, 4KX uh, capture card if you want to update firmware and so on, you need to have the 4K capture utility installed. So go to elgato.com slash downloads, although the URL should resolve to another URL, depends on the location where you're trying to access the website, and download the 4K capture utility to your computer. And of course, install it. So if you want to use HDR with this utility or not, you just go to the top right corner, click the preferences icon, the cog icon, and then if you go to recording, there's an option enable HDR recording. Oh, but this is again, if you want to use it with a 4K capture utility. But again, we, here we are discussing OBS Studio. All right, so what we want to do now, again, this is because this is the recording for the settings for the capture utility itself here. So we're gonna close it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold control key, all right? And we want to go to uh, the device, but only after we click control, hold control and click the settings again. This will bring up some two hidden uh, settings, enable HDR tone mapping on device when closing software. This means that only if we close the 4K capture utility, we'll be able to see the uh, HDR 
after tone mapping so we can record it in SDR in OBS. However, if you still want this capture utility to be open for whatever reason, uh, you will need to take the second one, use HDR tone mapping on device. And here it doesn't matter if the capture utility, 4K capture utility is open or not, you still be able to see uh, HDR tone mapping taking place in OBS as you actually tick this one and click apply. So if you make changes, make sure to click apply at the bottom right corner and then OK. Now in OBS Studio, go to your capture card in the sources and right click and choose properties. This will bring the properties for the capture card uh, window. And then if you scroll down, you need to make sure that the settings there are correct. Now here you can have it on any by default, or if you want to override it, you can just choose NV12. In color space, you can have it by default, or you can choose seven on with the nine. Color format, you can have it on default or choose limited. So this ensures that the settings for the graphic uh, so for the capture card, if you play around with it, are set properly. Or you can just create a new one and add a new one, and by default, it should show you the default ones, and then you're just good to go. Now then you're gonna go to the settings. Uh, in the setting, go to advanced. Here I can't change it because I'm already recording, but you should see things like here. So make sure the color format is NV12, 8-bit, all right? color space 709, color range uh, limited, uh, all right? So make sure it kind of matches, all right? So it's not showing anything related to recording uh, HDR content. And once you've done that, you can see I have HDR on, I can play in HDR. And if I move to OBS Studio, I can actually see that it's recording in SDR. Before that, I actually kind of saw low saturation grayish uh, look because it was transferring a HDR signal, but now, it's working great. And you can see it here with the 4K utility. The moment I changed it to work, uh, even without closing the 4K capture utility, it immediately was uh, shown in uh, OBS Studio. And that actually was recorded using OBS Studio. So you can see it immediately has the effect. So hopefully it will work for you. I know it's supposed to be more plug and play, but if you have any issues, hopefully this video will help you out to solve some of these issues. And uh, you can now play in HDR Enjoy really high, beautiful visuals while also recording in SDR to upload to your favorite uh, social platform like YouTube and so on. Thanks for watching.